Caitlin, and I am the new vlogger for Disney Lovers at Hershey Park. I am so excited to be creating content for this amazing channel, and I hope that I'll be creating some good content myself. So, today I'm going to be doing an overview on Hershey Park Season Passes. Let's go! The first thing you will notice when you go to buy our Season Pass is that there are three different pass types, which are King Size, Full Size, and Bite Size. King Size is the most expensive Season Pass, normally costing around $220. It has the most perks, which include a welcome bag with a lanyard, a car magnet, a Season Pass holder drink plan cup, Sweet Start, which is the one hour early park admission for Season Pass holders, two free tickets, 20-35% off discounted tickets, free parking in the Season Pass holder lot, year-round events, 15% off food and merch, a free all-year drink plan, and more. Full size is a little bit less expensive than king size, normally costing around $175. It has less perks than king size, but it still comes with most of the perks. The full size pass comes with the same perks as king size, but it does not include the welcome bag, the all season drink plan, the free tickets, and the 20 discounted tickets are 20% off instead of 35% off. You still get free parking, you still get access to Sweet Start, you still get into the year round events, and you still get the 15% off on food and merch. Bite size is the least expensive season pass, normally costing around $146, but it also doesn't come with most of the perks that the other season passes come with. The only perks a bite size pass comes with is the unlimited visits, you get 50% off on general parking instead of free parking in the season pass lot, it does not come with 15% off on food and merch, it does not have access to Sweet Start, it does not have an all your drink plan, it does not come with free tickets, and it does not come with discounted tickets. So what should you consider when buying your season pass? The first thing you should always consider are the prices. When considering the prices, you should consider how many times you are planning to visit the park during the season. If you want the season pass to pay for itself, then you will need to visit the park at least three to four times for a king size pass, three times for a full size pass, and two to three times for a bite size pass. Once you have visited the park at least three times for each season pass, you are essentially going to the park for free after that. If you are going to go to the park at least once a week, then a king size pass would probably make sense for you. If you are going to the park once or twice a month, then a full size pass would make sense for you. And if you are going to go to the park once every couple of months, then the bite size pass would make the most sense. Another thing to take into consideration when buying your season pass are what perks you want. If you want the most amount of perks, like the welcome bag, the all your drink plan included with your pass, the lanyard, the season pass water cup, the free tickets, and all of the extra perks, then you will want a king size pass. If you aren't worried about those extra perks and you are really only bothered about free parking, the discount on food and merch, sweet start, and basically all of the perks that came with the season passes before there were season pass tiers, then you would be able to go with a full size pass. If you aren't worried about free parking, the access to Sweet Start, the discount on food and merch, and you're really only worried about unlimited visits, then you would be able to just get a bite size pass. The last thing to take into consideration is how many times a year you are going to visit. I already touched on this earlier, but keep in mind the amount of visits to make each season pass worth it. You might think one pass is the best choice when in reality you just want the perks and you end up spending $200 for nothing because you don't visit the park enough. So make sure that when you get your season pass you are committed to visiting the park at least three times in order to make the season pass worth it. What can you do on the off season with the season pass? There are actually a lot of benefits to having a Hershey Park season pass, even in Hershey Park's off season. What are these benefits, you might ask? The first thing you can do in the off season with the season pass is visit Chocolate World. Chocolate World is open year round and you still get the 15% discount at Chocolate World. So take advantage of that during the off season. Go to Chocolate World, go on the tour ride, see the show, and do all the other offerings that they have there. Along with Chocolate World being open year-round, Hershey Park Supply Co., as well as Milton's Ice Cream Parlor, the Sweetery, and the Chocolatier Restaurant are all open year-round as well. In fact, during the off-season, there are normally special discounts that can be used at the Chocolatier, so make sure you look for those and take advantage of them, because once the park reopens, the added discounts go away and you are back to only having the 15% off. Another thing you can do in the off season is visit Zoo America. A lot of people think that you have to enter Zoo America through Hershey Park, but there is another entrance to Zoo America just outside of Hershey Park and Zoo America is included with your season pass. So there is another thing that you can take advantage of during the off season with your Hershey Park season pass. 
The last thing to take advantage of with the Hershey Park Season Pass during the off-season are the discounts around the town of Hershey. When you go into the Season Pass portal on the Hershey Park website and look at your monthly rewards, you will notice that there are discounts that can be used at restaurants around Hershey, such as Hands. These are normally only active in January through March, so make sure you take advantage of them before the off-season ends. What things can be added on to your season pass? The first add-on you can buy is the Hershey Gardens and Hershey Museum add-on. This add-on costs $30 and gives you unlimited visits to both the Hershey Gardens and the Hershey Museum for the whole year. Both the gardens and museum are open during the off-season, so this is actually another thing you can do in the off-season with your season pass if you decide to purchase this. The next add-on you can get is the All Year Drink Plan. Keep in mind that if you get a king size pass, this is already included, so there is no need to add it on. With a full size or bite size pass, this add-on costs $34 and for the entire season, you can get free drink refills and a refillable cup. It also includes a hot beverage plan for Christmas candy light. Just swap your regular lid for a hot lid and you can get free refills on both hot chocolate and coffee during candy light. The next thing you can add on to your season pass is the all summer dining plan. The all summer dining plan allows you to enjoy two meals per day the entire summer season at select locations throughout Hershey Park, which came straight from the Hershey Park website. This add-on costs $109 and none of the season passes have it already included. Keep in mind that this add-on is only for the summer season. It starts at the end of May and ends in September. It is not available for the entire year like the all year drink plan, so that might be something to take into consideration when you are looking into getting this add-on. The last add-on you can get for your season pass is the All Year Family Photo Pass. The All Year Family Photo Pass includes an online album with digital access to share and download all of your ride and photographer photos taken inside Hershey Park, which also came straight from the website. This add-on costs $58.30 and none of the season passes included. There are three steps you will need to follow after purchasing your season pass. The first thing you will need to do is print out the certificate that will be emailed to you. A couple minutes after you buy your pass, you should receive an email from Hershey Park that will have your season pass attached to it. You will see a receipt and an attachment with the actual pass certificate on it. You will need to scroll all the way down on your email until you find the attachment with the certificate and you will need to print that out so you can present it at guest services. The next thing you will need to do is create a season pass self-service account so that you can access your season pass and all of the perks that come with it. You will not be able to redeem any perks that are on your season pass or modify anything on your season pass without the self-service account, which I will go into more detail about later. The last thing you will need to do is go to guest services to have your picture taken for your season pass ID card. When you get to guest services, you will need to present the certificate that was emailed to you so that they can scan it, take your picture, and give you your ID card. You must have an ID card for your season pass. You will not be able to get into the park by just using the certificate. What are the steps to renew your season pass? Season pass renewal typically starts around October. When you go to renew your season pass, you will want to go into the Hershey Park website and once again scroll all the way down, go to tickets, and then click on season pass holders. At the top of the season pass holders page, you will want to click on renew season pass. Once you have renewed your season pass, you will get another certificate, but that certificate will not be needed because you can use your same ID card from the previous season. If possible, always renew your season pass when they come out for the coming season because that is when they will be discounted the most. That's all I have on Hershey Park season passes. I really hope this was helpful. Make sure to follow us on our social media pages at Disney Lovers HP and join our Facebook group to see the various discussions on both Disney and Hershey. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a magically sweet day. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it please like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check us out on our social media channels, including our Facebook group, as well as join in on the various discussions of both Disney and Hershey. Let us know what else you would like to see for future episodes of our channel. Until then, thank you for watching and have a magically sweet day.